Welcome to the week of November 15th. This is Citrine Shaka, and I am going to start this week off using the Enchanted Map deck for the Zodiac messages this week. Um, and then I'm going to end the video with the astrological report. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start off with Aries. Oh, Aries, half the deck fell out. All right, here we go, Aries. What is in store for Aries for the week of November 15th, Aries? Aries. Aries, you have the Goblins card. Can you see that? Goblins. And you can't see them very well in this picture, but you are being asked to forgive yourself, number one. You're being asked to forgive yourself. You're being asked to... Um, you're being asked to not let doubt and worry take over. Goblins can come in many forms. Sometimes the goblins are our thoughts. So you are being asked this week, Aries, not to let doubt take over, not to let to let worry take over, okay? You're being asked to forgive yourself for every mistake that you have made, okay? Because sometimes when we are too hard on ourselves, the goblins start taking over, the goblins of doubt, the goblins of worry. So you are being asked to fight the goblins this week. That is for Aries. Now let's move on to Taurus and see what is in store for Taurus for the week of November 15th. Taurus. Taurus. Taurus, you have the Gentle Gardener card. Gentle Gardener. You see that? So this is a reminder that you are the conscious co-creator of your life. So be gentle with yourself, okay? Look at your life as though it is a garden and you take your time and tend to your garden. So you need to take your time and tend to your life. Take care of yourself, nurture yourself, nurture your thoughts, nurture, no, nurture your body, okay? This is a reminder that you are the gentle gardener of your life. That is for Taurus. Next is Gemini. What is in store for Gemini? Gemini, the week of November 15th. Gemini. Gemini, you have the moonlight card. Look at how beautiful that is. Can you see it? I'm not sure if you can see it with all of the glare. Moonlight. You have the moonlight card. So this week you are being asked to follow the signs that the universe is sending you. You're being asked to have an understanding that is beyond logic this week. Okay? So pay attention to all of the signs that the universe is sending you. Pay attention to the moon. What is the phase of the moon at this time? Um, how can the moon help you? How can the planets help you in your life? Things like that. So you're being asked to have an understanding that goes beyond logic this week. That is for Gemini. Next is Cancer. Cancer, you have the unexpected visitor, visitor's card. See that? Unexpected visitors. So this week, you can literally have some unexpected visitors show up this week. This week, the universe is asking you to expect the unexpected, okay? Whether it's in the form of a visitor who you're not expecting, um, whether... Some things might pop up that you're not expecting. This week, Cancer, you need to expect the unexpected. Let's see. Next is Leo. What is in store for Leo? Leo. 
Leo, you have the intention card. See that intention? This is for Leo. Okay, so Leo, this week you need to live deliberately. You need to be clear about what you want as well this week, Leo. Okay, intention. It's all about intention for Leos this week. Okay, set your intentions, focus on your intentions and be clear about what is it that you are intending to happen. Okay, that is for Leos. Next is Virgo. Virgo, what is in store for Virgo? For the week of November 15th, Virgos. Virgo, you have the metamorphosis card. Beautiful card. See the butterflies? See the cocoon? See the butterfly, the cocoons? Um, so this week, um, this is a reminder that you are going through a period of transformation. Virgo, you're being asked to release the old, release the old and embrace the transformation that you are going through. Okay, that is for Virgo. Now let's move on to Libra. Libra, you have stuck in the mud. Okay, so this is a reminder that this week, Libras, you need to savor the moment. You need to smell the roses. You need to realize that sometimes when we are struggling, we if we are in a situation where we feel stuck and we try to struggle to get out of that situation, sometimes it puts us deeper in the situation. You see the elephant there? The elephant is stuck in the mud. So we need to realize that sometimes we just need to be still and know that spirit has a plan. And a lot of, um, am I doing? Libra right now. That's why I need my cards. My guide cards. I think this is for Libra. Sometimes if you feel stuck in the mud, the mud, don't try to fight too much against it because sometimes that will get you stuck even further. So sometimes when you are in a situation where you feel stuck, it is actually time for you to be still. Be still and trust that there is a plan happening at the time and it is also a message for you to savor the moment that is for Libra now let's move on to Scorpio Scorpio what is the message for Scorpio 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 you have the bone collector the bone collector card can you see the picture I'm not sure if you can see the picture I'm trying to show everything this is a reminder for you that you have everything you need and even if you don't have everything you need you need to act as if you have everything you need this is for Scorpio you need to act as if you have everything that you need you have the bone collector even though you can't see your bones you know that the bones are there to support you those of us who have you know but remember, you have to act as if you have everything you need. Because sometimes when you act as if, it actually brings the things you are needing to you. That was for Scorpio. Now let's move on to Sagittarius. Sagittarius.
Sagittarius, you have the flying card. So this is going to be a great week for Sagittarius people out there. You see that? You have the flying card. So for you, this is a message that the time for waiting is over. For a lot of you Sagittarius people out there, the time for waiting is over. It is time for you to take action. It is time for you to go for it when the flying card shows up. You see that? I'm trying to see. Can you see it? It is time for you to go for it. It is time for you to take off. You have the flying cord. It is time for you to fly high. That was for Sagittarius. Next is Capricorn. Whoa. Capricorn. Capricorn, you have the Wizard of Awareness card. Wizard of Awareness. So let's see what this card is talking about. Um, is this for Capricorn? Yeah. Capricorn, your message for this week is not to take anything personal. Okay. Your message is to be like the wizard and be aware of people's feelings and be aware of things that are going on but not take it personal so it's like be of the world but not in the in the world but not of the world something like that okay that is for Capricorn you have the wizard of awareness be still and just observe this week Capricorns this week you are being asked to just observe and don't take anything personal next is Aquarius And Aquarius has the bone collector as well. So Aquarius, this week you need to act as if you have everything you need. You have the bone collector card. Act as if you have everything you need. And this is a reminder that you actually do have everything that you need this week, Aquarius. Next is Pisces. 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 You have the movement card. So some of you Pisces might be moving this week. You might be thinking about moving. You might be planning a move. There is movement happening for a lot of Pisces. Um, so a lot of Pisces, you do have some positive movement going on. You might also be taking a trip as well. But there is definitely new adventures circling around Pisces. Now... Let's get into the astrological report for this week. So this is the astrological report for November 15th through the 21st. So on the 15th, we have the new moon in Scorpio. And also on the 15th, we have a Venus-Pluto square. This can be a time of intense emotional experiences. Okay, this is a time where you will be forced to accommodate your loved ones. Okay, so it is a day where patience is definitely required. Okay, now on the 16th, we have a Venus Jupiter square. Okay, this is a time where um, you have to watch out for things like overdoing it, such as splurging or overeating during this time. Okay, because Venus, the planet of love and beauty, Venus wants everything surrounding her to be beautiful, to be loving, um, to be enjoyable. And the square is coming in is because Jupiter, which is a planet that expands, Jupiter is going to be there squaring everything that Venus is hoping for. Okay, so this is a day that you will definitely have to have some type of self-control when Venus is in a square to Jupiter. Okay. Now, on the 17th, we have Mercury in an opposition to Uranus, okay? And we had this a few weeks ago, I believe, Mercury in, a, in an opposition to Uranus. 
So this is going to be a time where Mercury, the planet of communication, is going to be at odds with the planet of surprise. Okay, so this is a time, this is a great time for you to plan. But the only thing is that with the Uranus opposition, there is bound to be a surprise that comes up. Okay, so this Mercury Uranus opposition is sure to bring a lot of people a surprise to their plans. So expect the unexpected around this time. Now, on the, on the 17th, with the, okay, that was the 17th. On the 19th, we have the sun in a sextile to Saturn. So that's pretty much going to be a great day. Um, when the sun is in a sextile to Saturn, they are in a good connection. Saturn is the taskmaster planet. The sun just wants to shine and be happy wherever it is. So Saturn is going to be ensuring that the sun um, can enjoy itself regardless of the things that need to be done beforehand. So Saturn is going to be there making sure that everything is done in the right fashion so that you can enjoy yourself. Okay. Now on the same day, we have a Venus Saturn square. Okay. So this is the time where you might be tested in your romantic relationships on the 19th. And then on the 21st, we have Venus in Scorpio. Venus enters Scorpio on the 21st. So that is just a summary of what is going on in the planets. If you would like to find out how these planets affect you personally, because what I'm giving you now is just a general outlook. Um, but if you would like me to look in your chart and tell you exactly how everything is positioned for you related to what's going on this week, just visit my website, metaphysicalmoonlighters.com.